Well, it's news that may have meant different plans for some couples, but even after a very difficult medical diagnosis, a Western Wisconsin couple is saying I do to love and to one another. Our Courtney Godfrey has a story tonight. The Hammond, Wisconsin couple met three years ago. A year and a half later, he was diagnosed with ALS. Saturday, in front of family and friends, they tied the knot. It was the perfect day for a wedding. Well, you just never know who's going to come. Hosted in the home where Eric Marks and Kathy Haig planned to grow old. It was like, well, we're just going to have a few people, and then all of a sudden, well, we should invite a few friends. And <laughs> Now the home where they plan to make Eric comfortable until it's his time. You know, before we actually decided to get married, we already had started planning my funeral. You know, so everything's already bought and paid for because we know what the end result is going to be. A year and a half ago, he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, we kind of thought something was not right, but we certainly didn't expect ALS. He had planned to propose during their upcoming vacation, but instead pulled the ring out right then and there. He proposed when, as in the throes of crying, and he's like, I've had this for you. Kathy needed no time to answer. Because when it first happened, I told her you can walk away. And she didn't. She never even considered. I don't leave. So, when you love someone, stay with them. Eric, you may kiss your bride. Because in sickness and in health, I couldn't love him anymore, so, and he makes me complete. Love remains. But we've always had the saying of, I love you more. And it's not that I love you more than you love me, it's that, you know what, I love you more than whatever else is happening or what's going on around us. ALS is a neurodegenerative disease that results in the gradual weakening of muscles. There's currently no cure. In the newsroom, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.